I hate to be right. I really do. I hate to be right so much. And it's not because I have a crystal ball or I'm psychic or I can see this. It's because I study. I study and I study and I study and I study. I study history. I study what's happening today. And, uh, you know, if you do that, you can't help but come to the right conclusions. Because nothing is really hidden. It's all there for anybody who wants to dig for it. So most people are just too lazy to do it. Let me continue. We might get through this today. I don't know. Maybe. No, I don't think so. We'll have to finish tomorrow. But anyway, let me continue. Conjoining the lines from their first century points of departure, the descent is in the succession of the royal house of Judah. This is a truly unique line of sovereign lineage from King David in one of the key descents which comprise the bloodline of the Holy Grail. Now, let me tell you what's really behind this, ladies and gentlemen. Behind this, and you better listen to me carefully, is pure Zionism. The concept that there is a divine race chosen by God to rule over all other races and all other people in the world, and that this divine right to rule was given to David, and that his descendants, which they now call British Israelism, our Christian identity, and the radical sect of Judaism, Messianic Judaism, are all combined to claim that the Anglo-Aryan race is the real, true Israel, and is destined to rule the world. And uh, in case you belong to the Mormon church and you think this applies to you, it doesn't, folks, because it's not going to be in uh, Missouri or Illinois where this new Jerusalem is. It's going to be in the real Jerusalem is where these people want it to be. And the wealth, the real power behind the throne will be in the one-mile square city of London known as the British Crown. Got that, guys? <laughs> the one-mile square city of London is not subject to the rule of the Queen. It is known as the Crown of England. It is a separate sovereignty altogether, and it is a creation of Freemasonry. And there are more Freemasonic lodges in that one square mile of London, known as the Crown of England, than there is in all of the United States put together. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. we got to close there, folks. We'll continue this tomorrow. Now remember, all that I've been telling you right now is leading up to his justification of putting a king upon the throne of the world to protect the rights of individuals around the world and champion the constitution of the New World Order, which in effect is the United Nations Charter and doesn't guarantee any rights for anybody. Good night, folks, and God bless each and every single one of you. London is the world's leading financial centre, surpassing both New York and Hong Kong. It generates $600 billion every year, roughly 30% of the entire British economy. And most of that business takes place in this famous quarter. Known as the city or the square mile, it contains London's historic centre and primary business district. The square mile trades more US dollars every year than New York. The foreign exchange market alone has a daily global turnover of nearly $3 trillion.